Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Elden Ring. And in this one, I want to talk about DLC. DLC theories. Of course, Elden Ring, in the grand scheme of things, has not long been out. But many of you have worked your way throughout the game, defeated the bosses, dived into New Game Plus, maybe many New Game Pluses. And of course, while it's fair to say this game is huge and has no shortage of content, any chance to explore the world even further, do more stuff, get more equipment, fight more bosses, just discover even more stuff, would always be be welcome. So I don't think anybody is going to not want DLC. And it's fair to say, given of course how popular this has been, and also from software's history in their previous titles, DLC is more than likely something we will see. So in this video, I want to go over what From Software have said, what of course their history suggests, and then go over a few possible theories. So if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. If you have any of your own theories on what we might see in the DLC, or just what you want to see, let us know in the comments down below. And of course, don't forget to keep it locked for plenty more Elden Ring and related coverage. So, first things first, talking about it from a historical point of view, From Software obviously has a rich history of adding meaningful and sort of memorable DLC to its games. Dark Souls 3 had The Ring City, Bloodborne had Old Hunters, and if you look at the actual games themselves, both Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3 released in March, and of course October and November of that same year, they got their first DLCs. Now Elden Ring launched at the end of February, which is basically March, let's be honest. So, of course, if it were to follow the same sort of cadence, then it might not be so crazy to assume we could get DLC towards the end of this year. Now, of course, Elden Ring is much larger, much grander in scope, so of course, maybe it does require a little bit more time, but if history is anything to go by, then October, November this year could be a potential expansion to this world. When it comes to what they have actually officially said, the president and CEO of Bandai Namco, Yasuo Miyakawa, actually said that we will continue our efforts in expanding the brand beyond the game itself and into everyone's daily life. Now, of course, they did speak about sort of expanding, uh, you know, Elden Ring to be much more than just the game. This, of course, is not them saying, yes, there will be DLC. And it is worth noting, they have not gone on record to actively say there will be DLC, but they have said they just want to continue to expand the world. And of course, that extends to beyond the game, whether that means releasing comics or other series or trading cards or whatever it is, who knows what they want to do. But I do feel like DLC would, of course, still fall within that remit because they do want to continue expanding this world. And given how wild popular this game was, it would be wild not to do that. So what could we potentially hope to see? Keep in mind, of course, all of this stuff is purely speculation. This is all pinch of salt stuff. But there are, of course, some things that are in-game, things that are sort of not necessarily accessible right now that may well point to locations that we might be able to visit in the future. The first of which could well hint towards a more PvP-focused DLC. There's actually a video from Lance McDonald, which I will link in the description box down below if you guys want to check it out in full. But he is a well-known Souls modder. He's also behind the 60 FPS mod for Bloodborne. And he mentioned that, of course, there is a Colosseum in Elden Ring. In fact, there are actually a number of Colosseums across a number of different locations, all of which are currently inaccessible. And these could well be unused areas that in the future could be used for a pvp focused game mode in the actual video itself using a free camera you can sort of explore this like pretty imposing area it's a pretty sort of large scale coliseum looking awesome and again as mentioned there are identical ones throughout different regions in elden ring so this could be the groundwork for pvp or perhaps some sort of boss rush mode keep in mind dark souls 3's first dlc actually introduced a similar pvp arena so it's not too crazy to assume However, moving on from there, one of the ones that is definitely quite interesting and I think a lot of people do definitely want to know more of, especially if you care about the lore in this game and just want to know more about characters, and this of course pertains to Mikola. Of course, as part of the backdrop to one of the optional bosses you can fight, you can fight Mog in the game, Lord of Blood, and uh, when you do that, if you've of course fought him, you will know during the cutscene there is a hand protruding out of this cocoon, and that hand belongs to Mikola, the brother of Melania, who is cursed to live forever young, and it is possible that this could be the entry point to the deal expansion. People have spoken about things like, say, Mikola's Dream World, other things like that. In fact, a recent data mine actually suggests there is a much more detailed NPC that resides inside that same cocoon. So it could well be that it is sort of a, uh, you know, a character that we have yet to fully interact with and they could expand on in the future. In fact, if we actually refer to, say, some of the cut content that has actually been sort of uncovered lately, one of them, of course, points to the fact that there is a great rune in the uh, Rune of Abundance, described as the twin blade that contains the power of the Rune of Abundance. The holy power within the blade can call upon part of Mikola's own strength. 
This appears to be effectively the opposite of Melania's Rune of Rot. However, if we then turn our attention to the other theory, which is one that I'm particularly uh, fond of as well, if you guys caught our video on uh, the uh, different locations for the various towers around the world, and of course where you can go to activate your great runes, this one is definitely pretty exciting because if you look at the Divine Towers and you then plot them on a map and you actually see they create a circle, and if you then intersect all of them, they effectively point to this cloud in the middle of the map, which could well be a hidden location yet to be revealed for a future DLC. In fact, to add to that, Reddit user Schmoticus360 actually has a video where they managed to sort of glitch off the map and run to this intersecting point between, of course, all the Divine Towers, and there appears to be an ominous looking hole in the ground. Now again, this is also glitched off bounds and invariably a lot of the stuff under the map is just not created properly. So this could just be an unintentional hole, but it does of course align with where the uh, towers intersect. So it could well be an entry point to the future DLC. Quite what that would take us to, quite where we would go. Honestly, I do not know. The game of course has plenty of underground areas to explore, which are also fantastic. It would be cool to see even more underground exploration, but definitely if this could be a potential location for future DLC could be pretty sweet. Outside of that, of course, it would also be nice just to sort of expand on all the kind of cool equipment. That much is a given. New enemies, new bosses means new weapons, new ashes of war, new spells, all that good stuff. There is so much fantastic gear in Elden Ring, but it would also always be nice to get some brand new items to mess around with, create some new builds, change up the meta, all things like that. So that is something else I hope to see. But for the time being, there's a little rundown on what we currently know on uh, DLC, potential theories, that sort of stuff. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments down down below let me know if you have any of your own ideas if you've missed some of our recent videos be sure to check out one of these ones and keep it locked on the channel for plenty more Elden Ring